I'm joined now by Dennis Hayes, the CEO of the Bullet Foundation and the first organizer of Earth Day. What an incredible building and an incredible view. Thanks so much for having us here. Oh, thanks so much for coming. Will you first talk about, this is considered a living building. What does that exactly mean? Well, there are various ways to rate buildings. There's probably the most famous is LEED. Uh, living building is sort of the ultimate um, aspiration of buildings. It is the most environmentally sensitive and sustainable certification in the world. And why is it important to you to see more living buildings, not just here at home in the U.S., but around the world? Well, a living building produces as much energy as it uses. It lives entirely off of the rain that falls on the roof. It doesn't have anything that is toxic or carcinogenic or endocrine disrupting inside it. So it's a building that is productive and comfortable, but, but has a very, very small footprint. And as the world's population increasingly swells toward 9 billion, we have to figure out a way to lessen our impact on the planet. Back here at home, will you talk about the location for the Bullet Center nestled in between Capitol Hill and the Central District? Why was this spot important? Well, the, the, the spot had a number of rationales for it. One, uh, Seattle does not yet have a, a, a solar ordinance that allows you to keep uh, your solar collectors out of the shade if somebody builds a tall building to the south of you. So we chose this location in part because on this side of Pike, we can go up 75 feet, and on that side of Pike, they can only go up 35 feet, so we'll never be shaded. But perhaps even more important, this is the major east-west um, road that leaves downtown Seattle. A lot of our grantees are down there, and we wanted to be on a major bus route so they could come to the foundation without needing to drive. And you mentioned the solar panels. You have 575 on the roof. Will you talk about, I think most people, the biggest question is, do they work in Seattle? Not only do they work in Seattle, but, but this, is, this is, I think, the only six-story building in the United States that produces as much energy as it uses. And last year, we actually produced 160% as much energy as the six-story structure underneath that roof used. So uh, I, I think that's a, a rousing affirmation. Had we been in Phoenix, we would have produced twice as much energy. But of course, uh, Seattle has other benefits, uh, including water. For sure. A lot of people are green here in Seattle, and they do their best, but they may be in an older home. Do you have any tips or recommendations for trying to make those older homes more eco-friendly versus tearing <laughs> them down and building a new building? You know, there are some things people can do, right? Oh, of, of course, and, and, and we've been talking about it since the first Arab oil embargo in 1973-74. It's, it's all kind of straightforward. You insulate the walls and the ceilings. You get the most energy-efficient windows that make sense for you. You buy the most energy-efficient lighting and appliances, and by the time you've done that, you're accounting for about 80% of your energy. And then there are small things you can do in addition having to do with lifestyle. I'm going to guess you've been asked this next question a few times. There's a lot of really cool features here, from the geothermal wells, doing the heating below and cooling, as the solar panels we talked about. For you, what is your favorite feature of this building? Oh, it, it, as, as a feature, it's the fact that we've approached energy efficiency in the most comprehensive way that I've seen anybody do. This building uses about one-third as much energy as a brand new office building that was built to our brand new very tough energy code. That involves lots of different activities, but it, it sets a new standard. I'd, I'd say we are probably, by a factor of two, the most energy efficient building in the United States. Something to be very proud of. Well, thanks for talking with us. Appreciate your time.